I'm Aspen. I'm a fabrication subteam lead for Team 2910, as well as the team administrator. And over the next few days, I will be assembling the frame for our Mark III Mini Swerve robot. So whenever you start a project with fabricated parts like this, uh, you have to deburr them. And this is because the edges of the metal can be rough or sharp, uh, and that's just not safe for handling or safe for wiring. It can cut wires and cause other issues. Uh, so we use a deburring tool like this or like this uh, to go around and smooth out all of the sharp edges. I'm done deburring this part, and over the next few days, I will deburr the rest of the parts so that we can begin assembly. Corners, we'll use a gusset uh, and rivet the gusset on to keep the frame together. Uh, from there, we will add plates. And then I'm going to insert rivets through the gusset uh, into the existing holes in order to line everything up. Uh, and then I'm going to use our rivet gun once I make sure that everything's squared to rivet these into place. That way I know that I am drilling in the right place when I drill the rest of these holes out. Double checking that that looks good. All of those rivets look flat and the edge is all squared up. So we're just going to repeat that all around the frame. So the next step in the process, uh, now that I've secured all of these gussets pre preliminarily, is to drill out the rest of the holes uh, so that we can add more rivets. Uh, so I've just got my drill and I'm going to go around and drill out the remaining holes uh, in the frame underneath each gusset. Uh, so I'm just clamping this piece to the table. Uh, for the sake of safety, we don't want it going anywhere that is not predictable or wanted. Um, so I'm using two clamps to just clamp it to the edge.
So now that I've drilled out all of those holes, I am going to go back with more rivets uh, and put a rivet in each of them in order to make sure these parts are nice and secure. So in each corner, I'm putting the rivets in in an alternating pattern uh, because if you put all the rivets in at once, then it's almost impossible to get in between them with the rivet gun. There's just not enough space. Uh, so you go in several rounds, uh, alternating the spaces where you're placing the rivets each time in order to get them all in as easily as possible. So I'm back again, and today what we're going to do is finish riveting on the plate for the belly pan. Um, so while I was off camera, uh, the parts that hold in the Mark III Swerve modules were added, as well as the top plate. And today we're going to be finishing putting the rivets in this bottom plate. So the belly plate is riveted on, and the next steps in the process are going to be to attach the Mark III Swerve modules, and then wire everything together so we can get this mini bot up and running. Uh, so thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.